¿Cómo están amigos de YouTube? Bienvenidos a un nuevo video, una nueva entrevista. Hoy vamos a entrevistar a Marcia Barrett de Bonnie M, este fantástico grupo de los 70s y 80s. Así que quédate ahí. En primera instancia, Marcia nos va a estar contando cómo surgió la idea de formar Bonnie M, cómo era trabajar con Frank Farian, este gran productor que también trabajó con Michael Cretu, Michel Cretu, quien también lo conocemos por otros proyectos como Sandra. Así que presten atención. Hamburg at the moment, or in Germany, do my little shows here and there, even TV, you know, with uh, my own little show uh, covering other people's tracks. And I was invited to do an audition for Frank Farin. So, of course, I said, okay, I will, because I've always wished for a lovely, successful term in the Korea. So I went and I met Frank and um, he took me then to Sabrugan, where Stefan Kirkama was waiting with his piano. And uh, then I sang four tracks. And at the end of it, he said, that we do. So that's how I came into the weekend. I can only speak for myself. I think I met him three weeks prior to that in Hamburg as well. And he said, you'll see him, but there's nothing much happening. She went back to London. And apparently, when they couldn't find anybody to fit in, because uh, uh, in fact, Bobby Maisie and I went to Holland and performed Do You Want a Bum? Which was not us, it was a studio singers or whatever, and it was just a more or less an instrumental. But it was a little hit in Holland. So we three was first in Bobby M. And Frank was still saying, I want another one. And I said, well, the only girl I had met was Liz Mitchell. And then she went, and so before I knew it, I gave him the number. The lady who was uh, looking for talents for Frank gave her the number. And before you knew it, Liz was all from London. She did go back to London. So that's how. And then Maisie and Bobby was working in the same discotheque in, in uh, Hanover, I think. So that's how it was born in and bam. <laughs> Mind you, we had an audition a couple more ladies before. But they didn't get the job. We were the last set. So that's how Bobby was formed. Okay? <laughs> Funny, isn't it? Anyway, when we were coming to studio session, it went quite smoothly. Frank and his assistant at the door, you know, did everything. And then Liz and I outside there with our two individual microphones. And then if anything was supposed to be stopped or corrected, then that. And it went to see properly. Very much, very much. I can't say a thing about one day, one is, you know, shouting at the other or whatever. No, no, no. It was very smooth. And he was very gentle, right? <laughs> Not any, you know, some producer, you would go, yeah, yeah, like in German. And um, everything was fine. Yes. It was wonderful. ¿Acaso fue esperado el éxito de Bonnie M? Escuchemos qué dijo Marcia. También nos va a decir su canción favorita del proyecto. No tengo una idea, pero esperaba. Pero, ¿sabes? Pero eso fue realmente una sorpresa increíble. La primera, número uno, todo por supuesto. Así que fue... ...pasando. ¿Ok? Así que eso fue lo que estaba esperando. Estaba muy feliz, muy emocionado. Incluso después de eso, no tenías tiempo para incluso... Realize that you have a number one here or a number two here or whatever, but it was exciting. So, my dream is coming true, shall we say? Yes. <laughs> oh, by the way, quite a few times people want to know what is my favorite Bodium song. Would you believe it? I don't have one. I love all of them. <laughs> yes, I love all of them. 
except that one Bang Bang Lulu that came out on the I Dance album. I don't like that one. But anyway, all of the well, all of the rest I love. I when I hear them I sing along, you know, at home or whatever. And it just takes me right back. So it's something to be cherished. Otro miembro fundamental fue Bobby Farrell en Bonnie M, quien con su carisma y su capacidad de baile le dio un gran aporte al proyecto. ¿Cómo era trabajar con él y demás cosas? Marcia nos respondió esto. Bobby. Yo, Bobby. Y yo me Bobby, I have a smile on my face. Because he was very funny. And I think he was very creative. You know, referring to the dance moves. He made up on the spot while filming a TV show or whatever. He made that up. Nobody taught him anything to go down to school. He just created it there. So he was very creative. And I love when what Bobby was on time. I even like him better. On time, all right? But I miss him very dearly. I mean, may he rest in peace. Lovely memories. Lovely memories. Una pregunta con un sentido más personal, si pudiese volver el tiempo atrás, si cambiaría algo o no de su vida. Esta fue su respuesta. If I would uh, go back in time, you see, I don't go back in time. I go forward. <laughs> Because going back in time would make one really, really sad sometimes. I mean, there are lovely moments. Life was very, has been very bumpy, you know, and is bumpy. But I don't look back very much. I look forward. Plans that I have, I take the positive from the negative, and then I go with that. Because then I have hope in thinking about what tomorrow might bring. And that is exciting. It alone just to think what tomorrow might bring. And it usually happens that today I have a down day, tomorrow is a bright day. So it's la vie. I take it the way it comes. Bonnie M fue uno de los grupos que visitó Chile durante la década de los 70, principalmente en el 79, y Marcia nos va a estar contando algunos recuerdos de este viaje tan preciado para ella. But it was like a little holiday. Because when you, uh, like us, you are, you've seen many countries, but not all the time you have time to do a little sightsee or something like that. But I, 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 if I can recall, I think we were taking around a little to show and then we did the TV show. And the people were very warm. That is very important. So I enjoyed myself immensely. Marcia Barrett está presentando un nuevo álbum realmente fantástico. Nos va a estar contando sobre eso y sobre sus proyectos para el futuro. And it's a beautiful album, as you can hear now. <laughs> and we're getting beautiful reviews and stuff and so forth. So this time I'm going digital. It's something new, which you've got to move with the time. <laughs> or else you get left behind. <laughs> Isn't that so? So we are, we, we are doing that, my team, and I've decided to do that. And then uh, we might just go into the old back catalog of what Marcus and I have achieved whilst I was ill for 20 odd years and so forth. So look out for new things, fresh things. And then of course, my book forward, You can also get it uh, in German, in my writer, for the German fans. And um, I go from there. I love to write. I love to write. So eventually I just pop a little bit more of that in. But I am not ready to give up the stage yet. Here's the way. My voice is like here day one. Or even better. <laughs> so I'm going to carry on this field that I'm blessed with. And that's what God has chosen me to do. Make 
Y como cierre de esta entrevista nos dejó un mensaje para todos los fans, así que presten atención. And then, of course, before I go, I would really like to say thank you, dear fans, to be there for us. Without you, it wouldn't be a bogeyman, especially for that long. We're talking about 40-odd years. And Rasputin is again in the charts, and who knows what other track might be in the charts in the future. So... I really appreciate it that you've been with us. Some of you have uh, started to be fans from you were about 10 and so forth. Now you're grown, fully grown men and boys and women and girls. <laughs> so I think that is a blessing. That is a blessing. And then, now you're having kids. And you told them about Boney M. And the kids have to like Boney M too. So we've got it, you know, and generation to generation. Let's keep it up all about that, eh? Thank you, thank you, thank you very much to be so devoted and you make my day anytime. All right? Looking forward to meeting everybody. Of course, not one time. It's the old world. <laughs> Globally. So when we can meet face to face, it would be a pleasure for me anytime. On that note, I'll say bueno amigos, esto fue todo por hoy Quiero súper agradecerle a Marcia Barrett Por su tiempo brindado A John, el manager también Por haber concretado esta entrevista A ustedes por mirar Pueden dejar en comentarios su opinión sobre la entrevista Qué canciones les gustan más de Bonnie M Incluso si ya escucharon el nuevo álbum de Marcia El cual se los voy a estar dejando abajo En la descripción de este video no se olviden de darle like al video y de suscribirse, así seguimos creciendo esta comunidad. Y activa la campanita de notificaciones si no te perdés ninguno de los videos que voy a estar subiendo a futuro. Nos vemos en un próximo video. Chau chau.